Okay, so the plan is to knock him out, put him in the coffin, then drag him to the target location. Did you get the motor set up? We'll need that later when he's knocked out. If you say so, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, I know Pedro. You know, like what? <laughs> and then I told him a thousand chickens. That's unbelievable. Like nobody could have that many chickens. Like, what is he? A farmer? <laughs> what do you want, Bubba? I was just getting to the good part. Hi, hey, Pedro. Can you make the gummy? Hi. This is me, Jeremiah. From Sundays? Hmm. Okay, nice catching up with you. Bobo, I don't like him. You know what to do. Hey, what you do? Ah! Okay, anyway. But like, I... Uh, I bought this leaf, and I thought it was a magic leaf, because the guy, it, he told me it was a magic leaf, but this leaf, it does nothing, absolutely nothing. This is just a normal leaf. Do you know how much money this leaf costed? It was like a hundred something. Ah! Ah! My leg! Ah! 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 We should probably stop buying such expensive coffins. Wait, why? When all the humans we bury alive learn to live like a mushroom and stop eating mushrooms. They are more or less too self-obsessed for that. We could add more clues, possibly. Wait, what if we just do this to the store manager? Then capturing and selling the mushrooms would stop. That seems like it might work. Let's go do that. It doesn't seem like our, our Pedro is going to learn his lesson any time soon. At least dead humans are nutritious. Sire, we have a problem. The people we bury alive, they're rising from the dead. What? That's not possible. How could this happen? I don't know. I must speak to higher management about this. I don't think they'll be very happy. 